Hello, my purple banditos, and welcome back to more Let's Play Pokemon Let's Go Pichu and Eevee. I'm Purple Rodri. Last time we defeated the Celadon Gym, and then we used the T from Brock on the guards, taking away their thirst, which allowed us access to Saffron City. So today, we're in Saffron, and we noticed that Team Rocket was causing some trouble here at the Silph Co. head office. So let's make our way inside. We made it to Silph Co. You there! I have to tell you that our office is a bit of a disaster right now. A real disaster! This is no place for kids! No when there are so many dangerous people around! Aw, don't be such a stick in the mud! You won't even let us have a little look around? Oh, you, you blew! The blew! Rodri, I've been looking for you. What are you doing in a place like this? Well, Team Rocket... No surprise! Those Team Rocket goons are causing trouble all over the place! You and me are on the same wavelength, Mo. We can't keep letting Team Rocket do whatever they please! That's right! Come on, it's time we did a little strategy planning. So in short, the plan is this. Rodri's gonna drive Team Rocket out of Silphco, just like he planned. But it'd be crazy to try something like that alone, so Mo is going with him. Right! While you pipsqueaks do that, I'm gonna do a loop around all of Kanto, squashing out Team Rocket wherever I find him. One of us is sure to find out where their boss is hiding, and while I'm at it, I'll swing by the Pokemon League to tell the big wigs there what's going on. Awesome! Do you think the Elite Four might come help us? Maybe. So that's the battle plan, guys. Time to split up and put it into action. <laughs> if only it were that simple. Fact is, there's one more thing we've got to do here first. Rodri, Mo, if you want me to leave this place up to you two newbies, then prove that you're up to the task. W what? I don't care who goes first, so show me what you've got! Pokemon Trainer Blue is here and he is challenging us to a battle. I'm ready and it's perfect because I've done a little bit of training. Our team is leveled up. Tack is at 40, Maple's at 39, Loki's at 42, Sora is at 41, Vision is at 40, and Wave is at 35. Let's go ahead and take on Pokemon Trainer Blue. So you're my first challenger, huh, Rodri? Yes, that's what I like to hear. Here I go, and here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Rodri versus the man, the myth, the legend. We are challenged by Pokemon Trainer Blue, and he has two Pokemon ready to battle. He's gonna open up with an Executor, and we're gonna open up with Tack. So let's see what Tack can do here, guys. We do have our Charizard now evolved. We can also ride around on it, which is a whole lot of fun. It's been paying off to level up our Pokemon, so I'm hoping that it'll pay off even more once we can get Wave to evolve too. A light screen has come out. I'm gonna keep going for the Ember here, as I do believe in our Pokemon. I also have to tell you guys that it's very, very cool that Blue just popped up out of nowhere. I was not expecting us to battle Blue at this point in the adventure. I thought we were just gonna cruise into Silph Co. Maybe do a couple puzzles here and there. Take down Team Rocket, because you guys know that's how it goes. Let's tank this out, Tack. Come on. Tack has 25 HP. We're going for the Ember, and that's going to take down the Executor. That's good so far. We'll see who Blue is going to send out next. We got a bunch of XP. Charizard is going to be coming out for Blue. Let's send out Loki. And see what Loki can do against Blue's Charizard. This isn't even Blue's full team. Blue has a bunch more Pokemon, I'm sure, in the PC. So these are just two of Blue's Pokemon that he likes to carry around with him when he travels. Let's drop the Thunderbolt ourselves onto the level 40 Charizard. And that should be doing a good bit. Let's hang in here then. Charizard's gonna go for the Heat Wave. And check it out, Loki avoided it. One of the big perks that I've been telling you guys to playing with your Pokemon, to giving it some berries, to patting it on the head. Do what you gotta do. And with that guy, super effective, and Charizard is down. We hit the crit, and blue is gonna go down. We got a bunch of XP. Wave grew to level 36, and we beat Pokemon Trainer Blue. Exactly what I'd expect from a Pallet Town trainer. We got 11,200 for winning. 
again with that, guys. What wave is evolving? There we have it. So the last of our Kanto starters is going to evolve. We have our Charizard. We have our Venusaur. And now we have... Heart Blastoise. Congratulations. Wave evolved into Blastoise. It's very fitting that we get our Blastoise after we defeat Pokemon Trainer Blue. Blastoise data will be added to the Pokedex. It's a water type. It's the shellfish Pokemon. Once it takes aim at its enemy, it blasts out water with even more force than a fire hose. Sounds like it would be very, very painful. Oh man, so you really are ready for Team Rocket. I feel pretty good about leaving this place in your hands. Then you're next, Mo. Come at me. I'm just getting warmed up. Mo, you're up, dude. Aw, oh, jeez. Just watching your battle made me nervous. Did you see his Pokemon's eyes? They blew me away, but I'm not backing down. Rodri, you go on ahead. I'll be right behind you. So, it looks like Mo is also going to be taking on Blue. We believe in you, my friend. You can do it. Let's we'll step inside of the elevator. And here we are. Here we are. I'm going to floor 11F. This is a big building. There is going to be lots for us to do here and lots of battles. So let's jump into it and start taking on some of the Team Rocket grunts. Now that we have our Blastoise, we're going to be much, much stronger. And it's going to be great. We got a Drowsy out here. And let's see what Tack can do. Now, I trained my Pokemon by doing a little bit of shiny hunting. I wanted to try it out to see how it would go. I was just looking for a shiny Growlithe. So that's the Pokemon that I've been working on. And hopefully I'll be able to find one sooner rather than later. I mentioned to you guys doing a shiny hunting live stream. And that's definitely a possibility in the future. I've been thinking more about it. If I can find a random shiny on my own and find some good strategies, I'll definitely do it. Zubat is coming out. Let's switch out then. Let's get Vision out here. It's also good now that we have all of our Pokemon evolved. It'll make it much easier for me to train, as I don't have to wait for any of them to evolve. The only one we're waiting on is going to be Vision here, but I still need a trade Vision in order to get our fully evolved Alakazam. Let's drop the Psy Beam then. Zubat is level 33, so should do a lot of damage to it. Zubat is down. Get out of here, Zubat. We're trying to explore around Silphco and see what else we can find. Golbat. Pretty solid then. Easy battle to start things off here in Silphco. And let's go ahead and do it. Nothing to it, guys. That Golbat is going to go down. And we're moving on through. There's 11 floors to this place. We got a lot of exploring to do. So I hope you guys are ready. Make sure you're stocked up. Get what you need. Pick up some items. Do your best. Because there's going to be a lot coming up here. A lot coming up. Let's keep looking for Team Rocket then. We got ourselves a Max Elixir. Very nice. Very nice. You guys can see that. There's some people in there talking. So we need to make our way inside of there. That's what we're looking for. Nothing up here on this floor. And there's a couple scientists here. So we are officially looking through to see if we can make our way to that meeting. Eyes open then, guys. And hopefully we can figure it out. So let's jump into our next battle. There's also a lot of Pokeballs here. So we're going to get all these Pokeballs. We're going to pick up all the goodies that we can. Team Rocket Grunt has two Pokemon. And it's going to be a Voltor. And let's see what we can do here. Let's see what we can do. I've gotten a lot of cool messages from you guys too about shiny hunting, about how your adventure has been going, and I want to thank you guys for that. It's really wonderful to get to hear back from you. I do read through all the comments. I'm always reading through there and seeing how you guys are doing. I know some of you guys have been doing some shiny hunting, so good luck to those of you that are looking for some shinies. I personally have a couple in mind that I do want to find. One of those is the Growlithe. I want to get a shiny Arcanine for us to ride around on. That would be very, very cool. It's something that I've been wanting to do for a while. Let's send out Vision here then. It's going to be Eradicate, so not too bad. We're pretty good on levels right now. So 
these Pokemon aren't the toughest to go up against. And that's it. Eradicate is down. Another Pokemon that I'd like to find shiny would be a Dratini. I think it would be really, really cool to have a shiny Dragonite. And we defeated the Team Rocket Grunt. Let's keep it up. Let's keep it up. We're going to be getting lots of XP. Let me know what you guys think the coolest shiny to find would be in this adventure. Might just end up doing it. So we got a Max Revive. A Rare Candy. Let's see what else this is. And TM37 Flamethrower. Well, there it is, ladies and gentlemen. I've been telling you, we needed a bigger, better, stronger fire type move for our Charizard. And we have finally found it. So let's go ahead and teach it to attack. I'm gonna get rid of that Ember. See you later, Ember. And with that, guys, Tack now has Flamethrower. That's such a good move. I'm feeling much, much better about sending our Charizard out now. So let me go ahead and revive our Charizard too. Everyone else is here, so why not get the Charizard back out here too? I got a couple potions. That's the one thing I haven't been buying is potions as much. Since the Pokemon Centers are pretty much everywhere, you can just run in there and heal yourself up. Hello? What? I'm scared. Well, don't be scared. We're here to rescue you. Let's jump into our next battle. There's also some teleporting pads. I'm gonna step on it. And then we're gonna start traveling around all these floors. We're gonna get a little lost inside of here today, guys. It can get a little crazy inside of Silco. So let's see what our flamethrower can do here against the Grimer level 35. It's about time we can shoot a flamethrower. There it is. That's a fire type move for you guys. We're doing some big damage now. Next is going to be a Muck. We'll keep this up. We'll keep this up. Tack will be able to do it. Muck is only level 35. We've caught up in levels and we are stronger. So none of these grunts are going to be able to step up to us. The Muck is burned. Let's tank out this poison jab. We got poisoned. That's alright, Tack. That's alright. We can't expect you to do everything around here. The rest of our Pokemon are eventually going to have to step in as well. So let's drop this flamethrower. And that's going to do it. For the Muck. Until next time, Muck. Until next time. I like Mucks. There's something about them. I think they're underrated Pokemon. There's a sweetness to Mucks. There really is. So with that, guys, we can't make our way here because we need a card key so let's step inside the portal and there we go so now we're moving around now we're shuffling through let's go this way and battle this guy as there is another portal there and i have no idea where that's gonna lead us so let's just keep on jumping into the battles a ratata is here you think that Team Rocket would start upgrading some of their Pokemon? No, they just really want to stick to what they uh, are used to. They want to keep using those Rattatas and the Raticates, and we're gonna go for the Brick Brick Brickety Brick 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 Brickety. The Quick Attack is here, but no worries, guys. That's it for the Rattata. Send out the Raticate too. You might as well, Team Rocket Grunt. Just bring out the Raticate, dude. Just do it. Just let me take out the two Pokemon at once. I gotta find this card key. It's a Grimer. Okay. Not the worst Pokemon that could have come out. Could have been something much, much crazier. Let's drop the Flamethrower then. And that's it for the Grimer. Thank you, Team Rocket Grunt. Our attack is doing so good. Told you guys, once our moves improve, we're just gonna keep getting stronger and stronger. So, this takes the card key. There's a lot of Pokeballs in there. So let's step on this. In we go. Deeper and deeper. Let's go on this one. There is a scientist here. But I feel like we're heading in the right direction. As long as we can keep following the teleport pads, they gotta eventually lead to the one we're looking for. 
We're challenged by the scientist. He's gonna send out a Voltorb. What are you gonna do with that Voltorb, man? What are you gonna do? Now, the reason that I told you guys that the Muck and the Grimer seem sweet is if you guys have watched the Pokemon anime, I reference it a lot, but there's an episode where Ash has to go into the sewers, and there's Grimers and Mucks, and he ends up getting one for himself, and they're actually really cool Pokemon. I feel like the fact that they look kind of, you know, poisony and kind of have a toxic aspect to them scares away trainers, but those that end up using them, the Pokemon really value that and they really appreciate what you do for them. So they treat you back with a lot of, you know, kindness, a lot of sweetness. They're thankful. And I like that about those Pokemon. You can really tell. The Voltorb is down. We've grown to level 41, which is very, very good. And the last Pokemon is going to be an Electrode. I'll hang in here. No worries, guys. No worries. If this Electrode doesn't self-destruct, then we'll be okay. It might, though. Oh, it's the Thunderbolt. That's going to do it. Back is down. So let's send out vision out here. I could send out some of our other Pokemon. I'm going to try to keep them alive. We're going to play a little bit smart here since there are a bunch of battles. We're going to play smart for once. Here comes a Thunderbolt. Let's tank this bad boy out. Alright. Good work, vision. Good work. And that side beam is going to do a lot of damage. Let's go for one more then and that's going to be it for the scientist. Hope I can make my way through this place fast. I feel like you can progress through Sylph Co. fast if you choose to. That's for us to find out. Sora grew to level 42, and we defeated Scientist Rodney. We got 2100 for winning, and thank you, Mr. Scientist. Let's step on the next one. Couple people here talking. What's up? Oh, dear, dear. help me, please. That man next to me, he's such a coward. <laughs> I can see it, I can see it. So, we're still exploring the floors. Which way should we go? We got a super potion. I'm gonna head inside of here, as there are a couple people hanging out. Team Rocket came over and took over the building. We got an X special attack. So, you guys might wanna... Head on out. I see a staircase that isn't blocked. They must have targeted Silphco because of the Pokemon products. That does make sense. We dare betray Team Rocket? I totally forget that we're still wearing the Team Rocket outfit. So for these guys, we're just a Team Rocket grunt that's going through the Silphco building and whooping them. Let's send out Maple. Eradicate is level 33. I'm gonna drop the pedal dance. Maple is very, very strong. That's it for the Raticate. I'm loving it. We're gonna get our Blastoise out here soon. I'm just making sure that Wave can catch up in levels. All right, here we go with the Golbat. The pedal dance might not do much, but we're about to find out. There we go, there we go. Not as effective as we would have liked, and it's okay. Maple, you do what you gotta do. Keep on going on the offensive. Nobody's even gonna stop you. And there's the confusion. So with the confusion out, now it might be time to get Maple out of here. Seeing that Golbat is level 33, let's switch out the wave. I want to see our Blastoise come out. Looking strong. Check it out, guys. That's Wave the Blastoise. Let's see what we can do to this Golbat. I have Scald, which is pretty good. It should do a lot of damage now that we're a Blastoise. And that's it. The Golbat is down. Boy, am I happy. We got ourselves a Blastoise now. We got a bunch of XP. We defeated the Team Rocket Grunt. So let's keep on moving through here then, guys. I'm going to go over to the right. We got ourselves a PP up. Yeah. I'll take it, I'll take it. Nothing wrong with a PP up. Nothing wrong at all. Hmm, so there are still 
more grunts here. We'll battle them for the XP before I go into that other teleport pad in the top right. So this grunt is going to have two Pokemon. It's going to be a Meowth. Another one of those popular Pokemon for Team Rocket. They love the Meowth. And why wouldn't you? It would be like a cat. You feel like it'd be pretty easy to have a Meowth. Some Pokemon, I feel like it would be harder to maintain. For example, who knows how you would be able to feed a Snorlax? I really have no idea. A Snorlax is supposed to eat like tons of food a day. So being a regular trainer, how are you gonna pull that off? That's just something to wonder about. So let's take down this Raticate too. Come on, big hits on the pedal dance. That's it, Raticate. Get out of here, Raticate. Come on, Raticate. Don't be messing around with that. Don't be playing that game, Raticate. We see you. We see you out here. We defeated the Team Rocket Grunt. Now, I saw one more guy on this floor. It's good for us to be battling them. So let me switch out. We'll put Wave up in front. Wave could use the XP. Since we're only level 36 on our Blast Toys. So here we go. We're going to be taking on a Scientist. And then we'll keep on moving through the floor. Scientist Taylor. He's going to send out a Magnemite. I see you. I see you. Now, I do have Dig. What are the odds we can tank out an electric type move? We've burrowed underground. There comes a Thunderbolt. We're about to find out. The Dig is done and the Magnemite is down. That's why I wanted to dig on our water type, guys. Come on. Now that we're a little bit faster, it's going to work a little bit better. It was tough to land with the War Turtle, but it's easier now with the Blastoise. So let's go for the dig one more time. Thunderbolt's going to do nothing to us. Sorry about that little Magnemite. We'd help you if we could. That's not the way these battles are going to go. So the next one is going to be a Magmar. That's perfect. It was awesome to put Blastoise up in front. It was the perfect switch. Magmar looks very cool too. Finding a shiny Magmar would be a lot of fun. It would be very, very cool to find. Magmar is one of those Pokemon that always stood out to me from when I was a kid. I remember seeing the trading card and I just thought that it was one of the cooler Pokemon. It just stood out to me. It was like a Scyther. It seemed rarer. And when you grew up with the original 151, before Gen 2 came out, they were rare. And they were definitely valuable Pokemon. So let's go ahead and make our way to the top right. Let's see where this is going to take us. Deeper and deeper in we go. We've been here before, haven't we? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I battled this guy. So that's not going to do it. So, we're going to take another floor down. Now, what floor is this? We're in 5F? We're all over the place. And check it out, it's a Porygon. Yo, that is so cool. There's a Porygon in the overworld here. Yo, can you give me that Porygon? Is it yours? I've got to get it out of here somewhere. Give it to us? Dude! He's out here talking about the Porygon. We'll hand it over. We're nice people. There's a Team Rocket Grunt there, so I'm going to make my way towards the left. There shouldn't be any children in here. Sorry, then. You know, we just kind of snuck in here. Juggler Dalton. He's got three Pokemon. The first one is going to be a Hypno, and we're going to have some fun with our Blastoise. We really, really are. I got Bite, I got Scald, Dig, all pretty good moves, a decent move set. Here comes the Psychic, tank this out big boy, that's what I like to see Wave, that's what we like to see from our starter Pokemon, so let me go ahead and drop the Scald, almost did it, we did burn it though, very cool to see the Scald actually get a burn off, I feel like that never happens to me. So let me go ahead and finish it off with the bite. Still two Pokemon left to go, though. So we'll have to see what this juggler is bringing out. 
This guy's really holding down the floor here. Haunter. Very, very cool. I like this guy's Pokemon. He has a bit of a different variety than the normal Team Rocket grunts we see running around. That's it for the Haunter. Get out of here, Haunter. Come on, man. What are you doing? What are you doing? And last but not least, Loki grew to level 43. It's going to be a Kadabra. It's a good chance for us to test out our Blastoise. I'm enjoying it. This is going to be waves area to get through. So here we go. Let's drop the fight. Kadabra is down. And we're moving on through floor 5F. We defeated the juggler. I'll take it. I'll take it. We're doing pretty good here. Uh, what's up, Grunt? It's Archer! Oh! You! What is it, Mr. Archer? You know that kid! Huh? Rodri? You know that old guy! So, you're fool enough to get in our way, is that it? The brave little boys. Wait, aren't they the ones who are getting in our way? Not even. Mr. Archer's saying you're in his way, alright? You wanna go home in tears or what? Calm yourself. I'll teach these children a good lesson. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen, Rodri versus Team Rocket Admin, Archer, and Team Rocket Grunt. Archer is going to send out an Electrode, and the Grunt is going to send out a Muck. We have a two-on-two -two battle on our hands. We got Pokemon Trainer Mo with a Cubone. That's nice. That's super nice. So that might be the Cubone that we saw at the Pokemon Tower. I got to tell you guys... It's very, very sweet that it was our rival that captured the Cubone and took it with him. That's just meaningful. That That is very, very touching. I like our rival a lot more. So here we go. We gained some XP. I burrowed on down. I thought we'd be a little faster. Turns out we weren't. That toxic seep down into the ground? Wow! I suppose that makes a little bit of sense. Somehow, it goes down into the hole you were digging into, and you probably get poisoned. That's how it's gonna be around here. So let's see what you can do, little Cubone. You've been doing a lot of good damage. Wave is gonna use Dig. Here comes the Sludge Bomb. And Wave is down. Good try, Wave. Good try. The Toxic's gonna come out. Hang in there, little Cubone. Hang in there, little guy. We're gonna get you some help. We're gonna get you some help. There we go. The Boomerang took down the Muck. I really like the Boomerang animation. That's so cool. So we got some XP. I'm gonna switch out to Vision then. And let's see what Vision can do for us. If I can get this one move off, we'll be okay. We also have a Raticate. Let's see if I can hit the Weezing. I am level 41. So come on, man. Can I get one move off here? Here comes the Quick Attack. I was not able to get that one move off. It really didn't do it. Here comes the Dark Pulse on the Cubone. This Cubone is clutching it up for us, though. Oh, wow, Cubone. Thank you so much for that. This is going to be it. I'm going to send out Loki. And let's help out this little Cubone a little bit. Loki should be able to wrap this up, guys. Should be able to finish this up. I'm going to drop the Thunderbolt onto the Eradicate. It's lower level, so let's see if we'll be able to take it down. Cubone has 3 HP and a Hyper Potion has come out. Good for Pokemon Trainer Mo. He's not messing around with this battle. Staying on top of things, and I like it. There comes the Thunderbolt, and Raticate is down, ladies and gentlemen. Raticate is out. A heck of a battle we're having here. Who would have thought Mo would be stepping it up? I'm very, very impressed. Very, very impressed. Hey, we expelled the poison out of our bodies? That's wild! Check that out! Make sure you give your Pokemon some berries! I didn't even know that could happen in battle! 
Oh, the protect. That was a good one. That was a good protect. Because I was going for the zippy zap. There is still one Pokemon left after this. But check it out. Somebody's getting pumped up. The Cubone is getting pumped. So let's go for it. I'm dropping the zippy zap. No protect. No protect this time around, Weezing. There it is. The zippy zap. Should do a lot of damage. Not as much as I wanted. It wasn't crit. We're hanging in here, guys. Come on. The headbutt did a good amount. This is a heck of a battle here. I did not expect us to see Archer coming out of nowhere either. So I'm going to drop this Thunderbolt. And let's hope that that'll do it. Here we go. Weezing is out of here. There's one Pokemon left. It's going to be a strong one. So we got to be ready. It's going to be... Cubone fainted! Come on, little Cubone! Well, you almost made it! It's a gold bat. There it is. Good try, though, Cubone. And it looks like Mo is going to be sending out a Pidgeot as well. Pidgeot, it's level 36. That's pretty impressive. So let's drop the Thunderbolt onto the gold bat. And that is going to do a lot. Gold bat is down. We took down Archer and the Grunt. Props to Mo and the Cubone. Heck of a battle. We gained some XP. Everybody got XP. Ugh, again? Ah, we got 46.52 for winning. So it wasn't just a stroke of luck that let you beat me last time. I understand now. We'll have to be more careful about you two. Out of the way! Ow! Hey, look! That grunt dropped something. We obtained the card key. So there we go. Now with the card key, we're going to have way more access to everything. We're going to be able to open up all the doors and keep continuing from here.